You're watching Telecom TV from Mobile World Congress 2019 in Barcelona. Joining me now are Shekhar Ayer of VMware and Josh Goodell of AT&T. Josh and Shekhar, thank you both for joining me today. Um, I want to talk about network transformation and the technologies that are driving that. Josh, if I could ask you first, what are the new technologies that you're seeing that are going to drive transformation in 2019? So that, that's a great question, and, and if you walk the floor here at MWC, you clearly see themes. There are a few themes that really stand out. And if we were to roll back the clock probably 12 months, you would have heard IOT or connected things, you would have heard software-defined networking, network function virtualization, all wrapped in security. That's been a story that's been evolving over the years, and we've actually done a lot of good work with Velo Cloud and VMware in a lot of these areas, specifically in the SD-WAN space. But as we look forward, what's, what I'm seeing is a few new themes starting to crop up. Um, one is the emergence of 5G. And if you walk the floor, you see it everywhere. And it truly is more than the next G. It, it's transformative. The other element, I think, that is starting to take shape is the emergence of edge computing. And the amount of data that's being pushed out onto the edge or being created out onto the edge and the need to, come to process that more locally is clear. And you're seeing it across the floor, all kinds of interesting use cases. Sure. Shikal. Yeah, I'd piggyback on that. I'd agree with um, everything Josh said. I mean, you, there's hardly a poster in this auditorium that doesn't talk about 5G. Uh, overall, I would say that what we are focused on as well in our partnership with AT&T in particular is looking at how we can make 5G real. So if you take our SD-WAN partnership with VeloCloud with AT&T, we're actually taking the concepts of 5G in terms of policies that are translated at the underlay network and then using them to translate and have visibility in the application overlay so that you can have a truly differentiated 5G offering. So in partnership, we believe that we have and will have something that is the 5G differentiated SD-WAN offering that we can offer to our customers. And that's an example of how we are taking next generation technology and bringing it into applications that are useful to customers today. You just said there about um, technology's been useful to customers. Josh, have you seen any changes in the way that customers are using their networks now? Yeah, so I think there are a few dynamics. One, the lines between a wired and a wireless solutions, are, they're blurring, and that's because customers want the flexibility of having a mobile connection. Um, we're also seeing a, a, a shift from more monolithic applications sitting in one place to more distributed models, where customers are consuming applications in cloud environments, they're consuming them on the premise, and I think this is why SD-WAN is such a powerful technology because it allows for high performance, secure access to applications really anywhere. And the combination of that technology and 5G is really the marriage of, of what I think are two very, very powerful ingredients. And Shikana, what changes have you seen in the way that customers use their networks? So I actually will give a slightly different spin, which is it's not just about technology, it's also about business models. So what we are seeing is there are, uh, I mean, consumption economy as a service, these are all now starting to play into all aspects, including network-based services that are consumed by the customer. So in our partnership with AT&T as an example, we are presenting more cloud-delivered, cloud-like aspects of SD-WAN, including consumption as a service uh, for the customer. So I think increasingly it's going to be a combination of technology, business models that are going to make it more agile for operators like AT&T to deliver services as well as for customers to consume those services, not just in sort of large monolithic chunks, but in just kind of compartmentalized into just needed, as needed, and in uh, the right sized bits. Josh, it's an exciting time to be in this industry with all of this change. How does AT&T plan to address the next wave of innovation we're seeing? So first of all, I don't think it's um, any one technology, by the way, and I mentioned, you know, if you look back the last year and look forward at what we're seeing today, it's not any one of these things. 
what we're trying to do is think about what is AT&T's position of strength? What are we really good at? And how do we combine that with other ingredients that best in breed providers can bring to the table? Which is why you know, we've had such a great partnership with VMware and VeloCloud. So what I try to think about is delivering services and capabilities across the globe, but doing it with the best in breed partners like VMware, and I'm excited about that. I think the example of, of 5G and SD-WAN is just one way of making that real, but we're going to continue to innovate and, and deliver very relevant solutions to our customers. And Shikar, how will VMware help support AT&T with its ambitions? Uh, we come at it more from a software infrastructure standpoint, and uh, as I had mentioned earlier, the cloud transformation is particularly pertinent to what we do. So we kind of look at it and say there are these private clouds, there are hybrid and public clouds, there are operator networks, and then as Josh mentioned, there is this edge that is in formation. So it's actually quite interesting in terms of how we think these cloud pools are going to come together to help make and construct the edge. And we think it is going to be a hybrid environment. So as we work closer with AT&T on delivering solutions like SD-WAN to the market, <clears throat> we are very focused on making sure that it is done in an optimal way by leveraging all of the resources that are available in the cloud. So as an example, there might be instances where we might want to pull some capacity in from some public cloud. There are other instances where we might want to say, look, this is inside the data center of a customer, but ultimately, the service that is delivered should be making optimal use of the entire kind of cloud infrastructure, and then we are committed to providing the right security as well as the business policies that can get translated for best use by the customer. SD-WAN being a very good example of that, but I'm actually hopeful we can find many other ways to work together with AT&T on this. Well, Shikhar and Josh, thank you both very much indeed for joining me today. Thank you thank very you. much. Thank you.